Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control, uh, located in Charlottesville, Lynchburg, Virginia. I uh, coming to you today with a with a slightly different type of a message. I want to tell you how not to get infested with cockroaches. Um, now, there's lots of different ways that you can infest your home with cockroaches. Um, and this is this this video is mainly just to go through to d try to help you to uh like i said keep keep from getting in a situation where you even need to call an exterminator you know if you don't have cockroaches you don't need you know to call an exterminator and this is mainly just to try to help you out to try to keep you from infesting your home so one thing i'd like to uh advise is is not to buy things secondhand. Um, for example, if you go to a yard sale and you pick up a microwave oven and they may have like $5 or $7 or $10 stamped on the side of this microwave, it's a whole lot cheaper than buying one brand new from the store. And you buy it and you take it home and you hook it up in your kitchen. And remember, this was something that was in someone else's kitchen hooked up to their electric, cooking their food, harboring their cockroaches. And you bring it in your home, and you plug it up, and you start cooking your food, and the roaches come out of it, and they start to get into the rest of the appliances in your kitchen and in your sinks, and, you know, then you have a problem, and you have to call an exterminator. Did you really save money buying that microwave that you could have gone to Walmart and got 50 bucks, you know? You, you got to think about that when you buy your appliances that you don't want to buy anything uh, extra along with your with your appliances. All right, so that's that's the number one thing is try not to buy things secondhand. Uh, don't buy things from a rent to own uh, store. For example, if you're going to like uh, I don't want to use any you know companies or anything like that, but. Uh, one one thing about a rent to own store, so this is like a, he's an example like a rent a center. I, I use their name. Most people know who they are. Um, these companies, what they do is they rent furniture to people at a low cost. You may pay twelve dollars a month. You might pay you know twenty four dollars a month for a couch or an oven or you know something like that. Um, and you bring this in your home. Uh, and that's all fine and good, you know, but the problem is when people get these appliances, say they miss two or three payments and the oven they had in their kitchen gets repossessed and now the rent to own place goes out, they pick up the oven and they take it back to the rent -a center and now the roaches are in the oven in the rent -a center. They put it on the discount shelf. I said, well, you know, cause it's used, they can't get full price for it. So they sell it to someone else. You go in there. You say, wow, it's a really good deal on a stove. You bring it in your house. You hook it up, and it's got cockroaches in it. Um, now, a lot of those rent centers they will take the appliances and stuff that are used, and they'll sit them outside, or they'll open them up and try to clean out the cockroaches and stuff that are in them. But, you know, there's always a chance they'll miss a few. Or let's say you go to the rent center and you buy a brand-new piece of furniture, and that's because, well, that, that was sitting next to the stove. And the roaches crawled out of the stove and crawled into the sofa. And you bring a sofa home and you hook it up, put it in your house, you know, put it in your living room, whatever. And the roaches crawl out of the sofa. So I, I usually recommend that people not you do business with rent centers I'm not trying to ruin their business or anything. I'm just telling you, try to be an informed consumer when you go to places like that and you're purchasing your goods. Uh Another thing is, and this is this is a pretty obvious thing that a lot of people understand already. Um, if your friends, if you have friends, and they have roaches, don't eat at their house. You know, if you know your friends and all, and and you want to hang out and you want to do things together, do it in a public place. Do it somewhere where you know there aren't any cockroaches. You don't have to go to their house and don't have them over to your house either because I I had a customer one time, she, her best friend, 
and I mean, they've been friends since high school. And she she explained to me that her best friend, who um, she's she doesn't have the cleanest home. She's actually disabled, and she has a little bit of a hard time cleaning up after herself. You know, it's just the way things are. And she's got some cockroaches in her home. Um, she can't really afford an exterminator. You know, I've told her yeah, I can give her a good deal or whatever. I can, you know, start out with no initial. You know, I'm trying to help my customer out where I can because they're best friends. And she goes over there and she spends time with her. And that's how she ended up infesting her home with the cockroaches in the first place is because she's best friends with this girl. And they go back and forth between each other's homes. And the one thing is the woman will come over and she'll put her push pur purse on the floor and roaches will crawl out of the purse and crawl into the kitchen. And that's how she got the roaches. So think about that with friends and family. And I know that's kind of difficult with family, but, you know, you got to think about your own health and well-being as well. Do you really need cockroaches in your house? You know, go meet it at McDonald's, you know, go have a tea somewhere. Don't, you know, go have a picnic out at the park or something. You know, you don't need to visit each other's homes, um, you know, and risk infesting your house with cockroaches because you don't need cockroaches. And there are, you know, they do contribute to asthma. They, they cause problems, you know, health wise, and you just don't need that in your house. Um, so, so let's say you, you, you aren't visiting rent centers you, uh, your friends don't have roach or your roaches, you know, your family don't have roaches. You're not going to yard sales or thrift markets, you know, and you're, you're not getting, uh, roaches that way, but you have still infested your house with cockroaches. How did you get the cockroaches in your home? You know, that's those are some very major ways that you can bring roaches in your home. So how did you get them? You don't have any friends or family. Uh, you haven't visited anywhere that you know of that have cockroaches. How do you get cockroaches? Do you do a lot of business with the same restaurant. Um, you can bring cockroaches into your home from a restaurant. Do you get pizza delivery? Um, roaches like to live in pizza boxes. It's a place when I go and do pizzerias, it's one of the places that I always check every time if, you know, one of my pizzerias or whatever has problems with cockroaches. First place I check are the pizza boxes. Roaches like cardboard. They like the glue that holds cardboard together. The cardboard perform. They have little perforations in the cardboard. And they will live in those perforations. It's perfect for them. A lot of times the, the pizza boxes sit near the pizza oven. So it's a nice warm place. Because, you know, they take the pizza out. They put it in the pizza box. Slice it up and sell it to you. So... It's a real common place to have the pizza boxes sitting right next to the pizza oven where it's nice and warm. Cockroaches like a warm habitat. They like to be able to live somewhere. They like to lay their eggs somewhere where it's warm because the eggs will hatch sooner if they, uh, if they lay them in places like that. So um, are you getting a lot of takeout pizza? You know, are you bringing pizza home in the pizza boxes? Check the pizza boxes. You know, see if that's a place they might be coming from. Um... I had a customer one time, and this is going to be, this is probably, I'm kind of, a, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you both stories. It's two stories I could tell. I think I want to tell them both. Um, one of my customers was dealing with a Chinese restaurant. Now, this isn't to say all Chinese restaurants are like this, but the nastiest place I've ever been in ever as far as pest control for cockroaches was a Chinese restaurant. Um, what happened was the woman, I went into her home and I was treating her home for cockroaches and she's like, I can't figure out where I'm getting these roaches. I don't understand where I'm getting these roaches from. And so I started talking to her and come to find out that she visits the same Chinese restaurant. It's the only thing that's constant that she's constantly doing, you know, all the time. She gets Chinese, re Chinese food from them at least two or three times a month. She gets Chinese from this Chinese restaurant. 
and I find out that the Chinese restaurant has cockroaches. It's infested with cockroaches. I actually treated the restaurant. It was one of the worst cockroach infested restaurants I've ever been in in my life. The napkin holders on all the tables, you could slam them down on the table, the roaches would go everywhere. Um, they had a big box of the fried noodles like they serve with um, egg drop soup or chicken chow mein or something like that. You know, those little fried noodles. I don't know what they call them, wonton noodles or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, the box was sitting in the closet there after they fried them. I guess they probably fried them all morning and scooped them up and put them in this really big box that was lined in plastic. The uh, When I opened the closet door, the roaches were crawling all over those noodles. And of course, as soon as the light hit them, they scattered and went down in the box, tried to hide and get away. So think about that when you go to your restaurants. Are you visiting a restaurant pretty frequently? Check in the takeout boxes, check in the, you know, the pizza boxes, look in those places and see if you see cockroaches because it's a really common place to bring them in from a restaurant. Restaurants deal with people going in and out all the time. Uh, it's really easy to, to transport roaches, like I was saying earlier, in your purse. You go into a restaurant, you sit your purse on the counter, there's a roach in the purse, roach crawls out, goes under the countertop. The restaurant now has roaches. Um, there was a restaurant one time, it was a Mexican restaurant. Now, they had a lot of your Mexican restaurants, if they're authentic, a lot of them will make their food with lard uh now this might gross a few people out and if this grosses you out you, you if you're weak stomach you might want to fast forward a few seconds but they had a lard bucket in the back that they would use and they would make their uh refried beans and stuff like that and roaches like to eat animal matter they like glue. Uh, glue is typically made from animal fats and the skins and stuff like that of animals. Um, they like to eat the fat from animals. And that's lard is pig fat. And so the roaches, they had a bucket. It was about, probably about a third of the way, you know, empty. And the roaches were crawling on top of the lard, eating the lard they probably felt like it was heaven because they were swimming in lard. And when you'd go over to the bucket, of course, they'd all run out and run up the bucket and run out of the bucket. And so you could scoop the lard out without, you know, I mean, I don't know, maybe, I mean, they were cooking with the lard and the roaches were crawling in the lard. So maybe that's why Mexican food is so good because, you know, that's nasty. I'm sorry. That's That was nasty. Anyway, it's real easy to bring roaches from businesses that you do business with. That's a short, short, short story. Um, I hope this has been educational. I hope you guys, you know, I hope this helps some people, you know, look out for roaches. Try to keep from bringing them home. Uh, let's see. what. It, it, don't go to thrift markets. Don't buy your... Um, you know, your appliances and things like that secondhand. Don't uh, go to family and friends that have roaches. Don't visit those places. Try to stay away from those places if you can. If you know of businesses or restaurants that have roaches, don't do business with them. It's not worth it. There's a reason that the health inspector will close them down for roach infested because it's it's nasty and people don't want roaches. You don't want to spread them. If you can keep them out of your house, try to keep them out of the house the best you can. This uh, this has been Jason with Green Acres Pest Control. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, then please subscribe to my channel uh, to see more videos like this. And if you have any other ideas or any other stories, please don't hesitate to share in the comments below. I'm sure people will get a kick out of them. Uh, you know, and you might even be able to get some help. Um, y'all have a great day. Oh, check me out on Facebook. It's Green Acres Pest Control LLC. 
And I also have a webpage, greenacrespc.com. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it.